Still confused between anatomic and non-anatomic teeth? Let's fix that in under 90 seconds. Anatomic teeth have well-defined cusp inclines, usually 30 to 33 degrees to mimic natural dentition. Non-anatomic teeth are flat or shallow cusped about 0 to 10 degrees. They are essentially cuspless teeth. Anatomic teeth are ideal for bilateral balanced occlusion where contact must occur bilaterally in all movements. Non-anatomic teeth work best in monoplane occlusion, especially in flat ridge cases. Lingualized occlusion usually combines anatomic upper teeth with non-anatomic lower teeth. Talking about occlusion morphology, anatomic teeth have distinct fossae, marginal ridges and inclined planes. Non-anatomic teeth offer broad, flat occlusal tables without any cuspal interdigitation. Anatomic teeth offer higher masticatory efficiency because of the shearing action by cusp angles and better food penetration. But non-anatomic teeth have lower chewing efficiency because they lack cuspal interlocking. Flat teeth crush the food rather than slice it. Cuspal inclines in anatomic teeth may introduce lateral forces that may destabilize the dentures. Flat occlusion in non-anatomic teeth reduces these dislodging forces, providing more vertical stability on compromised ridges. Use anatomic teeth for younger patients with minimal resorption and good neuromuscular control. Use non-anatomic teeth for elderly patients with severely resorbed ridges or poor neuromuscular control. So always select teeth not just by textbook, but match them to your patient's neuromuscular ability, aesthetic needs, and rich condition. Hope that helps. Want to learn about occlusal planes and complete dentures? Click the link below and subscribe to Dentistified if you are serious about prostate.